Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA at 709 Central Standard Time on March the 8th, I think, Thursday, 2017. It's a little overcast outside, temperature 70, high today, 80, tomorrow about the same. Got a little cool front coming through over the weekend, but not much. <clears throat> Thank you for all the comments, and keep those cards and letters coming. <laughs> I got the, this is the, this is the post office bucket. It's a Corona Light bucket that I used when I was doing wine and beer tastings, and I put the mail in the bucket. Got some yesterday. Thank you. Anyway, uh, there's a, a comment related to the prepaid cell phone versus postpaid cell phone video I did yesterday. And anyway, this comment says, Rusty, I was spending $150 a month for unlimited cell service for many years. Then I found Straight Talk. Uh, I was excited beyond belief to get to pay $56 <clears throat> for unlimited service versus the old 150 Well, let's talk about it. There is no unlimited. You know, they're all throttled after a certain period. We just, you just need to know when. Uh, but anyway, that's all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you much anyway. Uh, I have continued to have an AT, have AT&T as my carrier, even now with Straight Talk. So she's got a GSM Straight Talk phone. <clears throat> Fast forward to today. I finally wore out my old iPhone and ordered an Apple iPhone 5S online through Straight Talk. I didn't realize it until re recently that my carrier is now Verizon and wasn't sure why until seeing your video today. Now she's got a CDMA and she's with Verizon. Now I see it's the Veri ver it, now I see it's the version of iPhone I purchased. I listened to you on YouTube recently. Everyone da 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 da. da. Uh, well, anyway, <clears throat> what she's trying to figure out is how she reduced her bill so significantly, and hasn't really noticed any change. Well, what it is is these. MNVOs, which I'm not too sure what that means. I guess I can find out right quick. But anyway, what it is, a MNVO is basically a reseller like Straight Talk, Track Phones, uh, Cricket Wireless, and uh, probably 50 others. But MNVO means a mobile virtual network operator. It's a wireless communication services provider that do, does not own the wireless network infrastructure over which the MN, MBNO provides services to its customers. In other words, they rent space on towers. And then, you know, of course, you got Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile, Cricket Wireless, Straight Talk, Track Phone, and they're all MNBOs and they all just buy space on towers from these larger carriers. And what happens is, they buy it, <clears throat> they buy a lower speed. In other words, like Cricket buys from AT&T a maximum of eight megabytes per second, even though the postpaid AT&T customers get 12, 15, 20 megabytes per second download. If you're with Cricket Wireless, you're only gonna get eight. In the same way with Straight Talk, Track Phone and all that stuff, does it affect you? No. You can watch a video at two megabytes per second, okay? And uh, so, you know, it doesn't, you don't even really notice it. So anyway, that's how that happened. And that's why your bill is so low because uh, you're actually, you're getting lower speeds. And uh, as far as unlimited, there ain't any. I mean, it's an illusion. I mean, well, it's, uh, you're, it's unlimited in the sense that up to a certain number of gigabytes, either 5, 10, 15, or 20, uh, you're going to get 4G LTE speeds up to those limits, depending on what you paid for. Then after that, the speed is either going to go to 3G or 2G, okay, for the remainder of that billing cycle. And anyway, <clears throat> uh, there was some other comments. Let me see here. There's some more comments I was going to touch on. Uh, da, 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 da. This is one guy says, my content's better than PewDiePie's. Well, I hope so. Uh, and that's something else. But anyway, <clears throat> I am planning on going on a trip on Monday. I'm going to be leaving to go out west for a few days. And uh, hopefully, uh, the weather's going to be okay. I've looked at the 
10 day weather forecast, you know, going all the way out to Death Valley in Nevada or wherever the hell it is, California. Well, no, it's in Nevada. It kind of goes over the border, I think. But having said that, uh, for those of you that comment, I appreciate it. You know, there's just so many, you know, and, and I hope I'm getting all of them. I'm sure I am. I hope so, because, uh, because, oh, here's the other one I was looking for. This is related to the prepaid versus postpaid. Same deal. This is another one. It says, as for my comments on the usage across country on cellular one backed by a it's AARP's cheapy phone. <clears throat> it says, you know, you can change the plans, la da 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 da. And uh and this, this is just a flip phone user. But yeah, as far as cellular one, as far you know, they, they use I think they used to be owned by AT and T, I think. And 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 they still use, I think, AT and T towers. And if they do use AT and T towers, then you don't have any problem. You can go anywhere in the United States and you'll have pretty good coverage. AT&T and Verizon have great coverage, particularly Verizon. Verizon has the edge by about a, that much, maybe a smidgen. And, uh, but out west, they have a little bit bigger gap in some areas. So that's why uh, whenever I go out west, I take a Verizon phone with me. So, and here's one right quick. Uh, it says, have you... It says, have you ever hit a deer driving down those central Texas back roads? I haven't hit one yet, but I have to tell you this. There's been a lot of close calls because what happens, even though I drive slow when I'm on the back roads, once a deer is committed to crossing that road, they're crossing it. I mean, I'm telling you, besides that, during the daylight, they're blind. They can't hardly see anything. It's just, it's just the reverse. Those eye, big eyes they have are designed for seeing at night, and our eyes are designed for seeing in daylight. And so, you know, we're, we can't see hardly anything at night. Even in moonlight, we can see a little bit. We can see better. But at, uh, during the daylight, for a deer, they can't hardly see. It's just like us at night. So what happens is, even though you'll see them on the side of the road and think they've noticed you, they may not have. Because, you know, even though they may hear the road noise, they're not sure what the hell that is. They don't really care. And for another thing, if... If, a, if one deer runs across the road in front of you, be aware because sometimes they come in little groups and, and, and about two, three, and four will come right behind them. So just be aware of that. If one crosses the road in front of you, go ahead and brake and slow down because there could be more. And also, if you're going down the road and there, there's one starting to run along parallel beside you, slow down or get ready to brake because they'll just turn all of a sudden right in front of you. And we have a lot of, quote, roadkill up here for that reason, because a lot of people drive 70, 80 miles an hour on these little two-lane roads up here. And they'll come over here hill, and there's a deer. It happens. Uh, not a lot, but it does happen. But uh, anyway, that's the deer comment and the deer comment answer. So anyway, guys, uh, enjoy the day. I will enjoy mine. I'm fixing to go do my walking right now. And... Uh, uh, anyway, somebody asked about, you know, since I've, <clears throat> excuse me, but since I have uh, added uh, my P.O. box for everybody, why don't I add my cell phone? No, 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 no. I don't want to get a G in notifications during the day from my text. No, we'll, we'll stick with the mail right now and comments. That's, that's good enough. And, you know, as far as the live streaming sometime in the future, I doubt it. Because unless you have, you know, a million viewers, Doing a live stream would be silly because for me to do a live stream, you know, I got 2,700 subscribers and, and there's nobody out there at that moment. So there I sit like this and nobody's commenting or doing anything. So, you know, but that's where, that's where YouTube wants you to go. They want everybody to, they want these people to, to live stream. So anyway, having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 USA made when you can. Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose out through your mouth do that a few times a day not you know don't hyperventilate and drink three quarts of water or a lot of water and uh, of course you'll pee a lot there was one what do you call it a three-legged uh, there was something about a guy a guy commented on that and i can't remember what he said i always say you pee like a racehorse and he said something else i'll see if i can find it right quick give me a second uh da -da 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 -da. I won't look. I won't look for it long. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's hard. You know, it's funny. You, you 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 remember seeing a comment, and uh, you know you saw it, and then you go back to look for it, and guess what? It ain't there. 
<laughs> it's I'm getting warm I'm getting warm I'm getting warm it may be worth it when I get to it and then again it may not uh, da, 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 da. one more page and then I'll give it up guys sorry about this uh, okay Isn't that amazing? You know, it's, it's crazy. Whenever you're looking for something, you can't find it. One more, one more. <laughs> Some of these comments are funny, I have to tell you. I mean, I, I'd read them out loud, but uh, there's so many. Once I started, I'd have to go on forever. I may do that one day, just read comments and uh, let you all see what I see. Well, I can't find it, so that's the end of that. But anyway, having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, enjoy your day, and I'll enjoy mine. So from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609, <clears throat> and you can contact me at P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas. Kingsland is one word. Texas 78639 USA. Keep them cards and letters coming, baby. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>